Hey everyone, it's Serica and welcome back to the studio. Today I am super excited because I'm decorating my new Traveler's Notebook inserts for 2022. This is the first time that I bought dated inserts. Previously, I had been using blank dot grid notebooks and I drew out my own layouts, whether it was a calendar or a weekly spread. But for 2022, I just really wanted to have it all ready for me so that I could just write whenever I needed to and focus on decorating and planning and journaling instead of making the layouts. I got monthly inserts for both my regular and passport size traveler's notebooks. I also got the horizontal weekly and memo for my regular size and then of course the passport size it has the horizontal weekly. The weekly inserts are divided into two inserts so the light blue one is for the first half of the year and then the dark blue one is for the second half of the year. And so I'll be decorating all six of these notebook covers today. But before we begin, I would love to talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on illustration, painting, web design, photography, videography, anything creative that you can think of. Recently, I have really been trying to hone my skills in Procreate and I just love all of their Procreate classes that they have, especially this one by Jamie Bartlett, which is called Texturing Illustrations in Procreate. I feel like I haven't been making the most out of my iPad and this class was so short and sweet. It was easy to fit into my schedule, but it was super helpful in my efforts to make my artwork more organic by adding texture to it. And so I highly recommend this class. And if you wanna try out Skillshare for yourself, go ahead and click the link in my video description below for a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. The first thing that I wanted to do was to cover everything with these beautiful handmade papers from Bitter Melon Bindery. They have real leaves and flowers embedded into the paper fibers and so I really was saving this for a special occasion and these insert covers were the perfect opportunity for me to use them. I did this part off camera because I had to do this outside. I needed good ventilation to use this spray glue. What I did was I just set the paper on the ground and then I applied a thin even layer of the spray glue before I put the notebook on it. And it went pretty well. It was a pretty easy process. But as you can see, certain areas of the paper became translucent when it was wetted with the glue. I don't really mind because it kind of adds a cool effect and the papers actually correspond with the colors of the insert covers. So I chose kind of like an orangey flower paper for the monthly one, which is orange. And so it actually looks like a really cool effect. The next step was to trim the excess off of the sides here. And once it was all trimmed off, it looks really good. I think that the spray glue worked really well and there wasn't any warping or buckling at all. Of course, I am gonna keep the excess paper that I cut off for my collage bin because this paper is just so beautiful. I'm using my Dymo embossing label maker to create labels for all of my notebook covers. This was a recent purchase and I'm still getting the hang of using it, but basically you just turn the wheel to the letter that you want and then it punches in these letters. It gives this retro look and I really like it, but the machine itself is kind of finicky and constantly gets stuck. I was actually kind of nervous to start decorating these notebook covers because since they're supposed to last me all year, I'm gonna have to live with it. And I really was feeling the pressure to create something that I was going to enjoy for the entire year. But I got over that and I started to layer 
in my usual collage process, which is to start with the largest elements, which is usually like scrapbook paper, grid paper, things like that, and then move on to the smaller elements like flowers and stickers and little ephemera, and of course the labels that I just made. So this one is the monthly calendar for my passport size traveler's notebook. It's quite tiny and there's not a lot of space for each of the days. So I thought this wouldn't be that great for using it as a planner, but I thought I would use it more as a journal for a few words each day. Something memorable that would mark the day, whether it was a special event, my mood, a funny moment that made me laugh something that I'm grateful for, a show or a movie that I watched that I really like, an excellent meal, just something to mark each day. And I actually did this a few years ago in my Hobonichi in the monthly pages at the beginning. I really enjoyed that because it offered like a bird's eye view of that month. Sometimes I didn't feel like writing a full page or a full spread for each day, but I still wanted to keep memories in a journal. And so having this tiny little calendar is going to be like a few words a day for the entire year. And I think that's just really cool. So this is going to be my highlights journal. Next, I am going to decorate the passport sized weekly inserts. So there's a couple of calendars at the very beginning and then the rest of it is horizontal weekly spreads. This is the January to June insert. As you can see there's a little bit of blue from the cover peeking through the paper so I decided to lean into that and use kind of a greenish blue theme for the rest of my collage elements. Now for this little insert, I want to make this a family journal. I was really inspired by a fellow traveler's notebook person that I follow on Instagram, it's Neri. And I noticed that in her passport size traveler's notebook, she often writes a lot about her son. And so I was kind of inspired by that concept and I wanna keep track of the milestones and different special moments for my family. So I am going to dedicate this little journal specifically for my family, especially because it is growing. I haven't really made this very obvious on any of my socials, but I am actually pregnant right now and I'm about to have a little girl in January. So starting in 2022, I really want to make sure that I document all of the special moments for my two-year-old son and my newborn daughter. Whether it's a developmental milestone, the way that they're growing, moments that make my heart melt, challenges and triumphs, inside jokes, anything about them and our family, I want to keep a few sentences each day in this notebook. And similar to the monthly insert, I just want a small space that is easy for me to fill in every day because I anticipate that life is going to get a lot more hectic than it already is. So I just want to have those layouts already done for me. I don't want to draw them out. I just want to have this ready-made planner for me to like fill in all those memories. I really love how all these tiny little passport sized traveler's notebook inserts turned out and I really do think I am going to like them for the entire year. So that is a win for me and I'm excited to move on to the regular sized traveler's notebook inserts.
I'm going to be using these regular sized inserts for my main planner system next year. I was really inspired by Ina Christina, who I follow on Instagram and YouTube. I'm going to link these accounts below, by the way, all the ones that I'm mentioning. She used a traveler's notebook dated planner system as her main planner for 2021. And I just loved seeing how she would decorate her planners, but still kept it super functional. And that's exactly what I want for next year. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I used to create all of my layouts. I would draw them out and make different weekly spreads and trackers and things like that. Every month I would do a calendar, but for next year, I really just don't want to do that because I'm going to be needing a way to plan way into the future and I don't want to use a future log or anything like that. I just want to be able to see everything on an actual calendar, especially because I'm going to have a lot of appointments for two kids and I just want a bird's eye view of the entire year. So that's what my monthly insert is going to be for. All those appointments, social obligations, monthly tasks, and things like that. As for my weekly inserts, which is what I am decorating right now, I am going to be using those as a more granular view for all of the tasks that I need to do. I basically used to create my own version of the weekly horizontal memo in a dot grid notebook, but like I said, I just want to have that all ready for me. And I'm really excited to use these dated planners because I haven't used one in years. So let me know if you are going to be using a bullet journal where you do your own layouts and basically create your own planner, which is great. And I still love that. I just want to change this year. Or um, let me know if you've been using dated planners. It's kind of like a hot topic in the planning and journaling community. All right, so that is it for my decorating video. I'm so glad you were able to join me for this chit chat about the different journals and planners I'm gonna be using for next year. So until the next video, happy journaling, happy art making, and I'll see you next time. Bye.